guys um my name is christina welcome to my channel if you are new here i make bookish and lifestyle content and i hope you stick around and subscribe so today i thought it'd be kind of fun to take you guys along with me in a day in my life it's been a while since i've done one of those and things have changed drastically <laughs> since the last day in my life that i filmed i do have a different job title i'm an hr generalist now and I work for a health company, which I won't state the actual name of the company due to privacy reasons. But yeah, so a lot of times my day-to-day -day tasks are mostly emails and we have a ticket system. So I have tickets I need to complete during the day um, I meet my quota. So far it is 10 o'clock and I've completed five tickets out of the 24 that I'm aiming for. But it's been a slow ticket day, so I don't know if I'll even reach that goal. <laughs> As you guys saw earlier, I took a shower, I got dressed, I had breakfast. Right before all of the filming, I did wake up a lot earlier, put on whatever I could, and I had to prep my daughter's um, snack bag and get her ready for daycare. And then when I got back, I was able to shower and get dressed and prep myself. So every morning is really crazy and hectic, but it's nice when you finally get that morning where you could take it easy, shower, and get dressed. The key to all of this, to motherhood and working full time and YouTube and everything, time management. I am still a little bit sick, so I am kind of like just a little congested and recovering from a cold. I hope you guys don't really hear it in my voice, but if you do, I do apologize. Um, for the remainder of the day, I do have a couple meetings and then I do want to go to the store to grab like a frozen meal, maybe like garlic bread or something for dinner. My husband has like a town hall thing today, so he will be late coming home, so it's just the kiddo and me. But I kind of just want to grab something quick and easy. I could just pop in the oven and or on the stove that doesn't require a lot of attention or maintenance because I will be with a toddler and I'm also almost seven months pregnant so it's a lot but I also might want to stop at Target to pick up a birthday gift because we are going to a birthday celebration this Saturday so I want to just prepare myself for everything and I thought while I'm there might as well grab a gift you know also can I get some comments and compliments on this cute little pumpkin mug? Because it is the cutest little thing I've ever seen. Like, oh, I don't even remember where I got it. Like, either Target or like Home Goods. Mm. So, during the day throughout work, I like to listen to an audiobook and or a podcast or even catch up on YouTube videos. I need some type of noise and like talking in the background. For some reason, it helps me focus. I don't know how, it just does. Um, so currently I am reading The Coworker by Frida McFadden. This is a thriller suspense novel. Um, I will say, I'm not gonna get too much into it because I am filming a different reading vlog for this. It's not my favorite from the books I've read so far this week. Um, other than that, it's okay. I do like, I think Frida McFadden does a really good job with suspense and cliffhangers with her books. But when it comes to character growth and development, she kind of lacks in that department. But it's okay. I'm still enjoying it and it's getting me through my morning. And usually with podcasts, I kind of listen to bookish talk, talking ones. I like the Forking Fangirls a lot because um, they're just hilarious and they talk about, you know, movies and TV shows and not just books. So it's like anything you can really fangirl about, they talk about it. So I really like their podcasts a lot. Highly recommend checking them out if you're interested in that type of stuff. And with YouTube, I'm all caught up on YouTube videos, which is odd. Usually I have like a lot on my watch later list. So I don't have anything to watch on YouTube. So I'm just gonna stick with the audiobook for today. Um, I could finish it in probably three hours, which is awesome. And then I have two meetings and then lunch and shopping. And that is pretty much my day. So stick around, subscribe, and let's get to it. As you guys saw i went to the store and i just got back i'm extremely exhausted and hungry and i only have like 20 minutes left until i have to clock back in but i did get myself sushi mind you um before anyone says anything you are allowed to eat sushi when you're pregnant you just can't have the raw 
fish sushi so like salmon rolls tuna rolls anything with the uncooked shrimp um i was also told to avoid eel and eel sauce so i'm having vegan sushi which is just vegetable rolls so this is just an avocado roll it's literally just avocado rice and seaweed and seaweed is actually really good for you it contains a lot of um minerals and vitamins that your body needs and i was always told to enjoy the seaweed so i'm gonna enjoy my sushi and probably watch a little bit of my current tv show before i have to clock back into work and jump onto a meeting if you guys are curious i'm currently actually watching the mormon wives show whatever it's called on hulu it's on disney so we have the disney hulu bundle and it just baffles me a lot of these like religious uh groups and all these sex can scandals that keep popping up with them it just makes me question so many things but i will say the first episode is so awkward it just feels like the acting is so bad because reality tv isn't really 100 percent reality a lot of it is scripted and i don't know just the reactions and the way they kind of like open up to the scandals and issues that they're facing it just seems so 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 fake like the acting is just so bad but then as you get deeper into the show it's just hilarious i just find reality tv hilarious and i need something numbing especially after such a long work day um so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i'll talk to you guys later i do have an onboarding meeting and then a service meeting with my team so that does not sound fun but you gotta do what you gotta do and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. which is when I clock out almost done with work um so I did have my two meetings today they were pretty quick and uh, simple meetings I did um, a lot of my ticket tasks that I wanted to get done I'm pretty much all set emails are done I did all my work that was due today so that is an A++ for me and today was a pretty chill day for me at least which is odd because usually every day feels like a Monday but today was pretty chill. So right after I clock out, I usually go and prep dinner because my husband picks up my toddler, well, our toddler from daycare. And then we have dinner, we play with her, we watch some Pokemon because that's like her thing now. And then we do our bedtime routine and go to bed. That's pretty much the rest of the day, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do some more in depth hr day in life hr videos with maybe like actual like tasks and steps regarding those tasks and stuff like that like let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that type of content because i don't mind going more in depth in my hr role especially if you're interested in also pursuing it as well but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed today's video please comment like and subscribe hit that bell button if you want to be notified every time i post a video it really helps my channel grow and feeds the algorithm thank you and i'll see you guys in my next one